what is the truth. Let us pray for the when the storm come to our life, when we cannot leave us to your hands. You watch over us. You are powerful. You are lovely, and your faithfulness is unbounded. When we call you, please talk with us and let us talk to other by you. Let us learn what you teach us. Make our hearts be soft and let Holy Spirit whisper in us your, your will. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have different settings. It happens something which raises tension. It reaches to the top where we ask what's next. By an answer we get the result during a certain time. This leads, leads to a resolution can be right or wrong caused by event. But what the Bible tells us, God is result and he wants us to understand as Follow. First was creation. God created Adam and Eva. They met sin and we human fail. Then, then tension raised by time. Humans tried to live in holiness but failed many times. Then Jesus came to the top to restore human to God's heaven. He saves their world from slavery and sin by his blood on the cross. Human became troubled and asked what is next. Friday didn't happen any, Saturday didn't happen any, but on Sunday Jesus raised from the dead and it was revolution. Jesus' resolution or message is life. Then he made life from fall. God because of his love to Jesus, told that even one Jewish accept Jesus and become Christian, he can forgive all Jewish. When Jewish heard they continue their sinful life and they were happy that God loves them and forgives them. But God became angry and let Babylon take over Israel, it makes Israelis tension be raised and at the top they became exiled in other countries. Many of them continued to live in holiness and they returned to Israel and rest, uh, reset themselves there after 70 years hard life. Observe that our place is not in this world but only in heaven. Those who belong this world hate us who belong other another world. They exile us in a place which is dangerous by making our life hard and unpleasant. But our hope in this world is after creation and fall and raised tension, Jesus came first coming. When Jesus left this world, we ask what is next. But Jesus raised from the dead and returned to heaven. And Jesus returns second uh, coming, leading us to the glory of God. But we are living between first and second coming, which is long time of exile, because we feel foreign. This question on how we can live in exile, we can get success and progresses by believing on Jesus and obey his commandments. We believe and trust on God's timing by hoping to Jesus' guidance. Thanks God reminding us your grace, power and love to us. God, each time we read your words, talk with us, keep your mind clear and shine our understanding. Your, so your words sit in our soul, heart and mind. Talk with us with your spirit and bless us. Amen. The word is a scene of shows where all human are actors. Imagine that this stage is the scene but behind the scene, hidden or unseen, there are a lot of instruments.
your train behind the sun and with help of instruments you shine in the sun jesus came in this world the visible sun as human to understand our pains and save us from our sins he came from the unseen or hidden source behind the sun where god exists jesus in, uh, introduced us to uh, the god and his commandments and obeyed god and never sinned when he done his duty he became crucified and with his blood restored human to god's kingdom he raised from the dead and uh, rescued to the heaven and he is sitting at right hands of god and judge the dead and and alive whoever believe on him and keep his commandment with their heart and soul in the name of jesus has a place in heaven jesus watch over us from unseen world jesus true followers have jesus spirit to have jesus spirit you shouldn't commit commit sin otherwise your soul or spirit is in trouble means that jesus is hurt god and jesus are in work in both worlds then be a apostle in this world to fulfill god's purposes some people doesn't believe on the another world we can we call them unbelievers they only think that there is only this world some people forget the another world we call them idiots if you live for only this world then your skill is dummy we sometimes think that we are dolls that god steer us no we must believe that god has a plan in our life and we must trust his timing he lets us use our brain in very clever way to meet the difficulties caused by others in this world we must uh, we must cooperate with god jesus and his holy spirit to defeat evils in this world sometimes you become disappointed when evils win over you while you have followed commandments but don't lose your faith for god is in control evils be, maybe defeat you in this world but it is temporary sometimes you find yourself in a a weary situations but with your faith and trust you win not at the same moment but after a while you shouldn't live under question questioning the god but only under god's power and god's control which leads uh, lead you to successes believe that god in another world works on your blessing and good things in your life I didn't put for your rest only for goodness. If you believe that it is from the God, then it shines your life. The following in the creation scheme. God loves us and has patience. When we continue with our sins, God becomes upset and punish us and we become in exile. Most of the uh, time, the dictator pushes us uh, to do sins and makes their people life in, as a hell. They put the people in exile, but the truth happened. No to evils. People who uh, protest against the dictators, their tensions raised, uh, but sometimes uh, the leaders will uh, make make fool and the, the and the vacant people tells no then the guards to it may be involved and people put conditions or uh, proving uh, in 10 days fight they claim they claim and agree happens the question is what happens next 
those people become stronger in their faith which leads them to success by few things but their strong faith they had God uh, they had God gave them appeal, uh, abilities like understanding knowledge grace the result is that they become holy they become known and uh, they become chosen the people overcome the evils and their risk uh, rescues by God's grace and the holy re uh, replaces they, de they developed and uh, thrived then in exile they raise raises and thrives how they succeeded in that example above you see what is happening in this world but it is happening in another world too then let us find out what is uh, what it is god appears in three places one in exile one in raising tension and one in successes abilities and results then god makes you strong even you are poor he gives uh, strength and power to make you positive and succeed to be successful live your whole life in the hand of jesus and god when you baptize you are accepted in the in god and jesus kingdom your body become a temple therefore in uh, it must have jesus and god's command uh, commandment your body becomes jesus place the holy spirit replaces in your soul to learn you and lead you then be aware and awaken to hear them and obey god will use you to remove his grace to and uh, to others by you god makes people love you and listen to his words by you god shows you things and you must be handled in clever way by god's mercies don't forget to worship god and jesus and ask them guide you in your path pray that you become as they will uh, don't forget that god works on your goodness to fulfill his purpose and his grace be happy and honored that you are god's chosen thank god for his grace and power and control sometimes it appears questions but don't let it take you over your mind only answer and uh, answer and make your mind clear and wise let us rest in your kingdom jesus if we are in exile guide us to victory and thrive don't let us be focused on hinder in this world only let us to overcome by your mercies accept us and live in us and make us holy amen heavenly father god and jesus let us know you and you and praise you talk with us let me talk via you and let me use your words let us understand your wonderful words in the name of jesus amen we human has in intelligence by uh, but sometimes they are fighting with their intelligence sometimes we cannot understand by our intelligence but because you haven't let let it sit in your soul you must discover your belief deeply in and let it take a place in your soul in the name of jesus amen instrument of repeat daniel 2 it is like a, a cycle it happens something then it happened another thing then it happened the third thing and then 
you return back to the previous level and then you return to the first level the in Daniel 2 the king has uh, dreamed about something and he didn't know about the meaning he called his uh, wiser and uh, a wiser man and uh, he asked them that they they uh, explain for him his dream and its meaning all the wise wiser men told him that he must explain for them uh, about his dream that they can tell him the meaning but the king was decided and uh, he told that no you they must tell him about his dream and uh, the meaning otherwise he is going to kill them the wiser men couldn't and they became condemned to be uh, to the death but uh, one of uh, the soldiers meet Daniel and tells the history and Daniel who was uh, God's chosen he prayed God to explain for him the king's dream and its meaning and God's God did that so Daniel went to the king and told that he can explain the king's dream and its meaning in uh, uh, as uh, he uh, saved the wiser men the king told him he is listening Daniel explained the dream he told that the dream was about a monument a statue with a head of gold with breast and arms of silver the body of uh, bronze the legs of uh, iron and the foot of a mixing of clay and iron he told that a, a stone is going to smash the feet and it's going because uh, it destroy the weak uh, feet and they are going to uh, destroy the whole statue and he explained that the meaning is that there is coming another kingdom of the the king's kingdom and they are weak and they are going to uh, after their horrible thinking to their people the whole uh, their uh, effect is going to be destroyed and that stone is going to be a mountain surround and take it over the whole world the king became happy and thanked the Daniel and uh, rescued the wiser men. Sometimes the intelligent people has knowledge, but they haven't got wisdom. God's wisdom are secret, and God lets lets people to find out and discover it. Always ask God, you, uh, uh, your, uh, give you wisdom by Holy Spirit and let you find the secrets in that uh, specific knowledge. God wants us to know Him deeply. Then keep your mind clean and pure and holy to find Him. Ask always to give you wisdom and help you to keep your mind clean and pure then you can be holy in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are in Jesus and Jesus in you, you cannot be condemned. Amen. Heavenly Father God and Jesus, you are good to us. You know us uh, be good as you are. We need your advice and guidance. Restore us if we make mistakes. Make us awaken to hear your voice and let us recognize the Holy Spirit inside us. Let our thoughts be 
your words and let us understand them deeply in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you find yourself in a hot situation, pray and ask God guides you and reveals mystery. If you find yourself in temptation, pray God to deliver you from evil. If someone put you in trouble, rescue yourself with help of God and Jesus, and tell that it was God's and Jesus' mercies delivered you from trouble. Always ask Jesus to go before you and make the way simple. God has a plan for you. Then ask him to guide you and discover the secret and mystery for you. When you know God and Jesus, when you trust them and have faith, then you haven't any fear because your life is in show. If you look on history, Babylon and had a golden kingdom. After them came the moths, which had a lower kingdom, silver. After them came Greece, which had lower kingdom, bronze. After them came Rome, which had lower kingdom, iron. After them came another kingdom, which was lower clay mixed by iron. The last destroys by, uh, by a stone. But it appears God's kingdom by Jesus, which is the strongest of all. Then stay in God's kingdom and be safe. Remember that God sent the, the stone and destroyed all the kingdom above the stone. Be, uh, become bigger and bigger by extending the Christ in the world. Jesus become the King of Kings and makes God become praised in the whole world. If you are in Jesus, you get successes and progresses. Jesus, thanks for your blessings and guidance. Sometimes you let evil be dominant, but it is temporary. Your kingdom comes and saves the whole world. Keep us in your imperium and save us from evil. Let your mercy be upon us and your grace abound us. Amen.